The story for this week is out of this book. It's called, Does God Have a Big Toe? Stories about stories in the Bible. So the story I'm gonna to read to you is not in the Bible, but it's about a story in the Bible. It's called, Watching the Burning Bush. When God set out to pick a leader for the children of Israel, the most important quality God was looking for was patience. God wanted somebody who would not give up. No matter how bad things looked, no matter how much the people complained, no matter how long it took to get to the land of Israel, God wanted a patient person to be the leader. So God set out to make a patience test that could be used to find the right person for the job. Now the angels were always bothering God with ideas and most of them were not very good. But God was patient, so God listened to all the angel ideas for a patience test. Gabriel came forward with a tangled ball of string. Whoever has the patience to untangle this ball of string is our person for sure. God did not like this test because untying knots is just boring work. And string untanglers usually are the kind of people who save rubber bands. And that was not what God had in mind. Then Michael the angel flew forward with a little puzzle box. You had to twist it so that all the red squares were on one side, all the green on another, and all the blue on another, and all the yellow on another. Michael said, this is a great patience test. You have to figure out how to get all the same colors on all the same sides. I'm still working on this one, so any person who can solve this puzzle is our person for sure. God sent Michael away after explaining that you did not need patience to solve puzzles as much as you needed persistence. And God was convinced that some of the worst leaders had the most persistence. Then of course, God had an idea that was the very best patience test of all. God caused a bush to start burning in the desert just near where some shepherds were pasturing their flocks. A few shepherds passed it and walked away. They didn't even notice that the bush was burning, but not burning up. Bushes are not special, and bushes on fire are not that special, so nobody took the time to sit long enough to watch the miracle happen. Moses, who'd run away from the palace and become a shepherd, saw the bush and sat down on the ground and watched. Moses watched and watched and saw that the bush's leaves were burned off and the bush's branches were black, just like an ordinary burning bush. The only thing different about this burning bush was that it did not burn up. It just continued to burn and burn and the branches never fell down in a heap and the fire never went out and Moses was the only one who waited long enough to notice. Moses tried to get the other shepherds to come over and watch the bush with him, but they all had better things to do. Moses also had better things to do, but he did not know it at the time. I'll tell you what I heard in the story, and I'd love for you to talk at home about what you heard. I heard that God wanted a leader who was patient. And being patient means not giving up. Being patient means listening. Being patient means waiting long enough to notice the miracle happening, sometimes in the ordinary, right there around us. In these days where we are not sure when we can go out or what we can do, it's hard to be patient. One of the things that helps me is knowing that we're connected even though we're far apart. Um, you are in my prayers. I pray with and for you on a regular basis. Take good care, my friends.